Hello lovelies! As the weather cools down, I always like my breakfast to be heating up. So today I've got three awesome savory oatmeal ideas for you. As you know, a couple days ago I shared some sweet oatmeal ideas that were really, really tasty. So if you haven't checked those out, I definitely recommend you do. But if you've never tried savory oatmeal, you are in for a total treat. Basically, it's almost like a risotto. So it's got a lot of creaminess and great texture, and you can use a lot of the same savory flavors that you would use in a risotto in your oatmeal. Today, we're gonna start with something really tasty. It's my savory chicken oatmeal. And don't knock it until you've tried it. It's got a lot of the same flavors as a classic chicken soup. So it's really, really hearty and filling on a cold fall morning. It all starts with a medium saucepan over medium high heat on the stove. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Once your butter is melted, you can go ahead and add some finely diced onion to the pan. And I'm also going to add some finely diced celery. This is basically the beginning of stuffing. Butter, onion, and celery, which is kind of why I love it so much. We'll let our veggies soften for about four minutes or so, making sure to stir them often so they don't burn. Then I'm going to add some fresh thyme leaves to this. Thyme leaves are so wonderfully seasonal and they add such a nice, earthy, savory flavor to every dish they touch. We'll let our thyme cook up for about 30 seconds or so or until it's nice and fragrant. And then it will be time to add the rest of our ingredients. To protein pack this breakfast, I am piling in some cooked shredded chicken. To that, I'm also adding my rolled oats and instead of using water or milk in this oatmeal recipe like you usually would, I'm using chicken broth. That's how you achieve this really savory, delicious flavor. Then I'll hit this with a little bit of salt and pepper. Give all of that a stir and bring it to a boil. Once the mixture reaches a boil, you can reduce your heat to medium-low, cover it, and just five short minutes later, you have a breakfast of champions. Now, it is no accident that this looks and smells a lot like stuffing. That's essentially what it is. You can serve it just as it is, or if you want to, serve it with some eggs. Totally your call. It's super hearty, protein packed. What a great way to start your day. My next recipe is both savory and a little sweet and a bit tangy, thanks to a ton of caramelized onions and some wonderful goat cheese. It's a really, really tasty dish. It takes a little more time because we are going to be caramelizing our onions, but I promise you, it will definitely be worth the investment. I've got a pot heating up on the stove. To that, I'm going to add some butter. You guys know how I feel about some butter. Once you've got your butter melted, it is time to add your onions. I'm going to get that into the pan. I always like to add a little salt. I find it helps with the caramelization process. And then I'm just gonna let these cook away. For onions to caramelize properly, you wanna cook them between medium low and medium heat, and you wanna give them about 15 to 20 minutes. I know it feels like a long time, but trust me, that is how long it takes for them to reach their maximum flavor potential. You'll wanna ensure that you're stirring your onions regularly so they don't burn, and what you'll end up with is this incredibly flavorful sweet onion mixture that is the perfect base for this dish. Now that we've done all that work caramelizing our onions, we are going to get some greens into this pan. Now I'm using some finely chopped kale here. You could add some spinach or leave the greens out. It's totally your call. But I always say if you can sneak some greens in at breakfast, you are way closer to achieving your five to 10 servings a day. So do what you can do. We'll give our kale just a minute or so to get wilty, and then we'll go ahead and add some fresh thyme leaves to this. And then I am going to get my old fashioned rolled oats in the pot, as well as our chicken broth. We'll bring that mixture to a boil, and once it's reached a boil, we'll reduce our heat to medium low once again, cover this up, and let it cook away for about five minutes or until the oats have absorbed all of the liquid. And what you're left with is this gorgeous, creamy oatmeal. Now you think it's creamy now, just wait for my final ingredient. I am stirring in a heaping helping of crumbled goat cheese. I absolutely love goat cheese. It's so super tangy and such a great complement to those sweet caramelized onions. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Come on guys, I can't think of a bad time to eat this dish. 
Our final recipe celebrates the arrival of squash season. Of course, butternut squash is available in abundance this time of year, so I always love sneaking it into recipes like this. Now, you always have the option to use some leftover squash if you already have some cooked, that's great. If not, you'll just wanna cut your squash into small cubes, arrange it on a baking sheet, and then drizzle it with a little olive oil, season it with some salt and pepper, and roast it for between 15 and 20 minutes. You really just want your squash to get nice and tender. Once your squash is nice and tender, go ahead, remove it from the oven and set it aside while you get to work on preparing the rest of your ingredients. I've got my saucepan heating up on the stove. This time I'm going to be using a little oil instead of butter. You can totally swap in butter here. It's definitely up to you. Once my oil is nice and hot, I'll get some onion into the pan. I'll cook my onion until it's just softened. Then I'll go ahead and get some minced garlic and some freshly chopped sage into the pan. Sage and squash are simply a match made in food heaven. Take my word for this one. I'm going to let those cook up for about 30 seconds to help them reach their maximum flavor potential. Now that that's all smelling delicious, it's time to get my oats into the pan, followed by my cooked squash and my broth, of course. You probably know the drill by now. We are going to bring this mixture to a boil. Once you see the bubbles start to break the surface, once again, you can go ahead and reduce your heat to medium low. Get a lid on that pot and let all that goodness simmer away. After five minutes, you have got an amazing dish I think you are going to adore. If you don't wanna use chicken broth in this recipe, you can always swap in some vegetable broth instead. And what you end up with is a vegan breakfast that is super hearty and filling. You better not miss out on this recipe. It's seriously out of this world. Oh, outrageous. Guys, even if you're a little skeptical about savory oatmeal at first, I promise you these three recipes will make you a believer. Don't believe me? Definitely give them a try for yourselves. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. I'm very excited to announce that our website, our brand new website, is finally up and running. It has been a labor of love for a long time, so I'm so excited to finally get to share it with you guys. All these tasty recipes are there. I've linked them in the description box below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.